Today I'm meeting Bill, a cannon expert, to see if this gun put some bang into my bank account. Well, let me take a look That's at it the here. Piece this I told is what you, about. you have, huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, first impression is it's a nooner. Neutered? It neuters no, people? No, no, nooner. Like, that's well, the slang for these cannons. They fire oh. at noon. This is a sundial here. Depending on where you are on the Earth, you orientate this compass for that focal point of it to be right here, and the sun and will that heat sets that up it off. And just set it off just like a match. Just to make noise, tell people, um, you know, it's it's noontime. It's not something you see every day. No, you don't. No, ah. these were these were made real popular in like the 18th century. These that's cannons are highly replicated. Yeah, well, that's not good. Um, mm -hmm. So we need to find some evidence on the, on this cannon that's going to tell us that it's not a modern replica. If this thing isn't real, I'm going to have to take a powder and go home. Mm -hmm. right, so we're going to measure the different pieces here. So. We, 0.16, 0.167, 0.15. That's and if it was made by a machine, it would be more. They'd be right on. It would be three decimals of the right. same. Well, oh, Joe, this is handmade. It is handmade, huh? Handmade. It's a real test of value is, does it fire? Let's give it a shot. Pun fully intended. First, we need some black powder. Explosive stuff. We're going right. to line it up now for the sun. That's going to heat it up? And that's going to wow. heat it up. Yep. You a little nervous? I am a little bit nervous, yeah, actually. Whoa! <laughs> that fires! Yeah. I don't know about noon, but it's definitely time to change my underpants. So here's the big question now. What's the value of it? Well, I think the value of this piece is $7,000. Really? Yes. $7,000? $7,000. Wow. Get good. I'm blown away. Well, happiness is a warm gun, right? There you go. <laughs> Joe P. blasted the competition with his miniature cannon pillaging over 5,300 bucks. Even a blind butcher can see that Candy and Courtney's Tiffany desk set wouldn't need red ink. Mike B. won the chimney sweep stakes, taking home a tidy three grand, while the fog was swept away and left empty-handed. So you heard the little cannon fire. You want to hear something louder? Let's go for it. Fire in the hole! Fire in a hole! Oh! Fire in a hole! Oh. <laughs> I felt the wind! Fire in a hole! Oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs>